Girl Sheridan and I am back, back, back with yet another video, y'all. It is Faith It Friday, and y'all, I'm on 10. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am on 10. I have someone who I have looked up to since a little girl. Um, I am 32 years old, so that's a, that's the time. <laughs> And I have looked up to her from a little girl. Her family calls her Tracy, but I nicknamed her Tracy J. Blige. Uh, she, <laughs> is a, <laughs> she is anointed. She is an actress, a singer, singer for real, because some people just be singing, but she can sing. Okay. She is a personality and influencer, and she is God's best. I am so oh. excited. Y'all to be sitting here and talking to Latrice Pace. Thank you, girl. You know what? When you yeah. said that, I was like, oh, oh my God, I was 19 when she was born. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a super fan. I have been, everybody knows, on social media, mm -hmm. I'm the Pace sisters up and down. All y'all, if y'all feel like y'all want to put out an idea, okay, I'm like, I'm the first person. <laughs> In line, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I am abundantly excited. Just I love up. watching you. You are hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you taking a turn now, like, oh, she praying for us. Oh, glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but I love it's it. all of the above. So I gotta be my full self, you know. Yes. And that's the yes. thing that I I appreciate about you because I feel like you can eat bye bye ta ta ta, and I, I, I'll go to the brunch with you and get yeah. some samosas. Yes, if y'all yes. real mother pacing me fan, y'all know what samosas is, right? <laughs> So I'm so excited to talk to you today. Latrice has a new project out, and let's pull it up. I'm so excited about this, okay? Exodus, the journey of obedience, volume two. So y'all make sure y'all get volumes one and two. I Thank love you. the fact that you included Seed of Righteousness, oh, one of my favorites. Um, yes. And so I'm so excited about that. But let's get into Latrice, because I feel like I don't want to throw shade, but I do feel like when people interview you, mm -hmm. I'll be like, y'all got to ask her about her. <laughs> I'll be like... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna interview you, but really the sisters, but you. I yes. want to ask you about you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I it's that's so funny, but I get it because I think they're just trying to connect um the the new listener to yeah. a history, a bit of history, but I feel you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we're going to get into the history as well. But I'm going to ask you, when you were a little girl, how did you dream your life would be like? Like, what was your dream career? As a little girl, my dream career was a teacher. I just, I, I loved, um, really third grade. I love my third grade teacher so much. And I realized how instrumental, like, and how much of an influence she was on my life. And I was like, I want to be that to someone else. You know, I want to be instrumental. I want to be a great influence, a positive influence. And so I was like, I want to teach. I want to be Miss Dockery and Miss Purvis, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So you're kind of doing that, though, in a different way. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. God has yeah. a way. Come on, somebody. <laughs> So let me ask you this. I know the answer to this, but everybody who was watching may not know. Okay. Was your family influential in helping you cultivate your dreams or aspirations? Because some people comes from families that are well off financially. Some people come from uh, families where there's already like a success story, like the Hiltons. But some of us are the first success stories that we people seen in our family. So how did your background aid and or hinder your success? So my my uh my family background was extremely influ influential in um I'll say molding the person I've become because as a child or even teenager, young adult, I had no idea, no clue 
uh, of what I really wanted. And then the thing that I wanted, it was like, no, you can't do that. You're going to do this. So it was like, I kept for so long, I kept trying to find myself. So my Mm -hmm. family was um, influential in helping me find myself really in what they had already established. I was trying to create a whole different mold and make the work and the path harder. Mm -hmm. But God had already given to my dad what we were to be doing and what we were to be that so that when, you know, I came along, all I had to do was say yes and surrender when I finally said yes and surrendered. And it was like, wow, okay, this was this path was already pretty much molded for me. So they actually helped me uh, say yes to what yeah. what should have already been. And I didn't even realize it because I wanted now, to do something how else. You? How old were you when that yes came out? Oh my goodness. So the yes didn't come until maybe, okay, I was told what I was going to do at 17. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The yes probably didn't come until maybe three or four years later when- okay. I was out on the road with Sean and I saw that I could do this. Like, okay, maybe not be an artist, a solo artist like her, but I can do this acting thing. I like this acting thing. That's when, when I, I realized, okay, I'll say yes to this, Mm -hmm. but maybe not to the rest of it. So God, I'll say yes to this part. And then he was like, okay, I'll I'll take that for now. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) For those of y'all who may be new, <laughs> when she says shine, she's talking about Lil Shine Pace. For yes, those sorry. Be, <laughs> no, it's fine. It might be some people who just don't know. Yeah, um, you're right. I don't know the voice. Okay? Right. I don't know the voice. <laughs> okay. Um, so the term influencer is very new. Now let's talk about this because not only are you an accomplished singer, uh, you're an actress. We have seen you in uh, some great stage plays. Um uh, and we going I'm hoping we get a movie too, because I, I already kind of, I already am auditioning in my head to play Duranis. Um, if we get a um, Pay Sisters movie, I just want to put that out there. there. I'll put and it in word. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you are also an influencer. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you knocked our socks off when you also helped your mom to become oh, an wow. influencer. Oh wow! I never thought about that. Really? Yeah, she was an influencer. Absolutely. Aww. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So the term influencer is very new. Mm. Did you ever make a conscious decision to be an influencer? Um, just let us know, like, what's your influencer story? Okay. So it's interesting how when you say that, it's like the word, the word influencer is new. But the act of influencing isn't because Christ Christ told us long ago, go ye into all the world and influence. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, um, I think I just gravitated to it when I got the uh, when a friend told me one day they were they were responding to me. They was like, come on, blue check. I was like, huh? (laughs) It was like, yes, blue check. I was like, what? It was like. You got a blue check. I was like, what is that? <laughs> oh my, you didn't know what it was. I did not okay. know. <laughs> and when I read up on it, I was like, oh, I'm verified. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then when I started receiving offers uh to post more in order, you know, and, and get Mike money from it, I was like, yep, I'm an influencer. Right. <laughs> now it. granted, it's it's not like crazy money it's gas money Mm -hmm. right now but i appreciate it i appreciate the fact that uh people deem me worthy to follow um that that i'm doing something or saying something to enhance their lives or to encourage their walk with christ um so i don't take it lightly i'm 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 thankful because i'm just like you yeah you know that's why we follow you though because you give us I think that for me, that's why I follow you. You actually remind me of me. Yeah. Um, and that 
I am crunchy. I love the Lord. He heard my cry pity every groan. Long as I live, okay? While trouble rise, I'm going to hasten to his throne. That's true. Yes. I'm still going to have a good time. And yes. I'm going to wear a swimsuit. And I'm going to go to brunch. And I'm yes. going to go I'm going to do all the things. <laughs> all of that. All of that. It, it's just, it's all of, it's all of who God is. Oh, hold up, girlfriend. What's up, bestie? Let me pause and interrupt Latrice real quick to let you know that WhenItGirlsPray.com is available right now. You can go to WhenItGirlsPray.com right now and check out the merch. We have our prayer journal that is available for pre-order. We got a sweatshirt and a gift box. All of these items are available at WhenItGirlsPray.com. When It Girls Pray is for the girls who got it and also got God. Y'all go ahead and check it out and use the code BESTIE15 for 15% off. All right, back to the truth. Um, or who I believe him to be. He's not just mm. one way with me. He doesn't yeah. speak to me in one voice. He doesn't speak to me one way. I don't see him only in when I'm in church. You know, I, I see him when I'm on the treadmill or if I'm out at a park or, you know, if I'm sitting at the ocean or at the beach, he he reveals himself in so many ways and talks to me in so many ways. So that's he's colorful. I'm colorful. Yeah. So yeah. And it, I think it's all as we mature in Christ, you know, because some people are, are new to it and some people aren't, you know, as we mature in Christ. He um he brings about a balance and a decorum and a, a, a sense of discretion, you know, that that comes only with maturity and time spent with him, you know. So, yeah, I just I encourage everybody to be who you are and God will rein you in when he needs to rein you in. You know, that ain't on me. I, yeah, that that ain't on me. Yeah. Somebody need that on the shirt. That ain't on me. It's not my job. <laughs> Point folks to Jesus and he got it. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Okay. That's so it. you are, to my knowledge, a full time creative or creator. So yeah. uh, whether it's singing, acting, all the things, uh, full time creator. But you, your family kind of blazed that trail, honestly, um, with being creative. But other people, who desires to be creatives are often told get a real job. Mm. Uh, that ain't no job. Uh, some people paying their bills with <laughs> what you mm. deem is not a real job. Right. My question to you is um in have you ever had anyone in your corner who boosted your faith in your dreams? Like say you had a project that you were working on and, and it seemed like it wasn't coming to fruition. Who has been your faith booster? My family, my entire family has always been that. Um, and although they are gone, gone, Nisi and Sean, that's, oh, they unbelievably did that like for everybody, like at the same level, you know, and it was always consistent and genuine, but my family um, has always been my faith booster. And then me even reminding myself of God's word and, and what he said, even when, if I was like, like, okay, God, I know you said this, but oh, Okay, I'm gonna take you at your word. I'm gonna take you at your word. So even when you don't, if you don't have that, it's good if you do have it. But if you don't have it, there are times I have like, um, I've always made notes of prophetic words that I've gotten from God or things that he said for me to me through himself and not just through people. And I'll pull them out and remind them like, okay, you have really never failed me. You have mm. never fallen short. Okay. I'm, I'm going to trust you. I'm just going to keep going and trust you. But but outside of me reminding myself of what he said, my family has yeah. always been that. Always. Uh, I yeah. love that for you. It's visible, right? So, you know, I'm a huge fan of all of you guys. Yeah. But when I see y'all together, <clears throat> the looks that y'all give each other, the I'm in your corner, sis. Like y'all you don't need other people to be y'all amen corner because y'all got it. I love that for y'all. Like I, <laughs> my family is the same way. The hype person visibly to me when I see 
is co pastor June. When yes. I say, lady, like, say Tracy, yes. say, I'm like, yes, you better hype your sister up. And she's so loud. <laughs> she is like cheerleader loud. <laughs> yes. That Absolutely. is so funny. So, in the okay, amongst having a big family as I do, how did you find your voice? I know I found my voice. I could not have it because I'm the oldest. You are um, not. Yeah. <laughs> you are not the oldest. So how do you fight through all those people to find, okay, because if you pay attention, and again, this is about you. If you pay attention to Latrice Pace music, yeah, it is completely different. Yeah. Completely <laughs> different from the Pace sisters, from the Rennes, <laughs> from LaShawn. It's different, and I love that for you. Like, I literally love it. It kind of reminds me, I know these are your guy brothers, of Jodeci. Ooh, yes, I did. No, listen. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And when Casey and JoJo broke off and did their solo stuff, it did not sound the same as oh. Jodeci, and I love that. It's not a our group 2.0. So I right. love the fact that you able Yes, to f- cultivate your own sound and even stuff that you wrote for the group. Like yeah. my favorite is always gonna be contentment. Had mm-hmm. to listen to it today to minister to me and get myself together. Yeah. I found contentment to you. And so in those moments, you were able to like, okay, I wrote this, but I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah. How are you able to find your own sound? Okay, so first of all, I think I found my voice and confidence in it when I had to go up as Sean's understudy for a Tyler Perry production once. And the people responded to me the way that they responded to her. And I was like, wow, I can do this. I do have a voice. I do have an audience. I I do have a place, you know, um, where my gift is embraced. Um, and when it comes to actually the music and the writing, it wasn't something I was trying to do. It was just me allowing what was authentically in me to just flow out um, and be free. And I wasn't trying to be different. It just ended up being different, you know? So, oh, I don't even, it just, it, it was just, just be. Yeah. I think, I think oh, people I think people should just be, allow situations to be, allow your uh, creative outlets to just be uh, without the overthinking and without trying to create a formula for yourself or for an event, just let it allow. It's, it's like, it's almost like what I'm doing right now. It's like, okay, God, you've given me a concept for a song. I'm going to release all of my thoughts. I'm going to release everything I've heard or read, everything somebody else said uh, should happen in songwriting. And I'm going to allow you to just flow through me and allow whatever happens to just be. And I'm going to be okay with that. And however it sounds, it sounds. However the lyrics flow, it, it'll flow. If they rhyme, they rhyme. If they don't, they don't. But I'm releasing it and I'm going to allow you to form it and shape it and mold it to be what it should be. And when I do that, it's going to land in the hearts of those I'm called to. Mm. It's going to be pleasing to the ears of those I'm called to. Um, If I get an award from it, great. If I get added spins on a radio station, great. But if it doesn't, I'm okay with that. Because I silenced the noise of what the industry said a hit should be. And they really don't know right now what it should be because of post-pandemic. Yeah. You know, but I'm I'm blocking all of that out. And I'm tuning in to you. And your will, your desire for my life, for my music, and for those I'm called to. And that's all that matters. matters. When we do that, 
we can be at peace with what we release mm. and not feel like it has to perform. Because I was just being obedient. Jesus. I love that. What what my music is, what genre it is, I don't know. And I'm not I'm not under any pressure to try to label it or figure it out. I just obeyed God. Mm. What he gave me, I wrote down and I pressed record. And and that's that that's it. I uh I love that because especially this EP when I look at it and listen to it um it's life music. Yeah. It's life music. Um the singles prayer. Yeah. Life, okay. Life. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Uh, the women's anthem. Yeah, life. And I was telling my brother, because I had my brother listening to it. He's um, an artist as well. He does the rhythm and blues, praise God. Love um, it. <laughs> and we were listening to it together. And I said, Shaquille, can't you see people shopping to this music? Like, I can see me in the store picking out like, mm, okay, I can see. Like, I see myself in different areas of life. When I hear the music, when I hear the song, some songs sound just fun. Some songs sound like I want to work out. Some are giving me consecration. Some have me, <laughs> let me think to myself and humble myself. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. I love it because it's just life. It's yeah. life music. We don't have to, like, our gospel artists, don't have to be boxed in and it might not even be gospel it may it not might. it's just life music like it's life said. music yeah. I, love it. I love it i love it Thank okay you. we are almost done um just a few more questions tell yeah. me about the time when you had to bet on yourself oh i would say my live recording mm. when um I, I was so afraid I was so scared because, you know, we we always compare ourselves to those around us. You know, if it was some of the ladies in company or some of the ladies in the Pay Sisters or, you know, some of the ladies at church, we're all we're constantly comparing ourselves. Or some of my fellow artist friends is like, I can't do that or I don't do that like that. Like, who's gonna listen to this? Like, is 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 it too simple? Is it? Is it entertaining? Am I doing enough tricks? You know, am I doing enough acrobats? I need to learn some more stuff. You know, and it was like, you know what? I'm going to bet on me. Just, mm -hmm. I'm going to give them the best of what I have. Um, the best of what God has given me. And I'm, I'm going to do it. And the thing that made me do it was when I started sending the musicians deposits. Mm -hmm. I started sending them deposits like, Oh shoot, I can't back down now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's really going down. So, yeah. like in March, we did it in 2019, 2018. I started 20, I forgot. 2017. 2016, I started sending deposits. Like, like I'm locking you down to this date. I'm yeah. locking myself down to this date. Yeah. That part. I think I'm gonna back out. Because I think I'm astonished because when I look, okay, everybody who I'm interviewing for Faith at Friday, I look up to all y'all. Mm -hmm. And so when I hear y'all say this stuff, I'm like, what? Because the way I view you, it's like, oh, I got it. Like, <laughs> I, the way I view you guys. Yeah. And then, but there are people who view me in the, the same, same way. way. And I'm yes. like, girl, I'm just Yes. And that's why, that's why we have to tell our stories. That's yeah. why you have to do what you're doing. That's why I have to do what I do it because it's our way of paying it forward and encouraging somebody else that's looking up to us the way we're looking up to somebody else. Like we have to keep it going. We have to. Jesus, I love that. Okay. So everyone has their own relationship with God. You have talked to us about the fact that you hear from God in different ways. Yeah. How do you cultivate this relationship? And I'm asking because I, one thing that, another thing that I love about you, um, now you can, sh you're going to shout sometimes. Yes. But 
you not giving me every Sunday. Okay. I love that because we come from the Pentecostal church. Okay. It wore <laughs> me out. Not, <laughs> listen, but you can also give uh CCM and you can also give and all you can see God radiating off of your countenance. And so wow. my question to you is how do you from what you have been taught, how have you over the years cultivated you and God's relationship? It's like a test. Like every time you graduate and go to another class, you learn some things and you take a test and you you go on to the next level. That's for me. That's I believe that's how our relationship has cultivated, because every day I'm literally the word tells us to in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct our path. And I think we we take that we take that in all your ways, acknowledge me and I'll direct your path as so we won't take the wrong path but no it's so so our relationship gets stronger and stronger and you become more and more dependent on me and you become more and more sure of my voice because some people some people like well, how do I know when I hear him because you haven't put into the test mm. you, you just out there doing your own thing and like you hoping he catch up with you you know so in everything I do is like God is this your will I'm I'm trusting that you want me to take this role? Should I take this production? All right. I, I, where well, I was one year, God was like, um, <laughs> the theme for you this year is total obedience, total and immediate obedience. I don't want you asking me, God, is it you? Should I do it? Should I not? He said, you've been in this long enough. Yeah. You know, my voice. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. That's how it cult when something cultivates and gets stronger when you're constantly watering it and feeding it and you, you, the both of you are depending on each other. Like my plants, I'm talking to you, you talking to me, we're feeding off each other. We're breathing each other's air. You're giving me pure oxygen and I'm giving you my toxins and you clearing it. It's, it's that constant communication and, you know, making sure he's okay with our moves and our actions and our conversations. It's just that, that testing and proving through every situation, not ever feeling like, Oh, we good. I got it now. No, yeah. that's how I, I you cultivate something. I love it. Pruning, okay, digging. if you can, yes. if you can, if it ain't none of our business, tell us it ain't our business, and we okay. okay with that. Can you give us <laughs> give us a time when you know nobody but God pulled me out of this? A oh, I want. I ain't trying to be deep, but I literally want to say every day of my life. Um, because of the responsibilities on me, um, people counting on you, depending on you, um, it's, I almost want to say like literally every month and it's no matter how much you budget, how much you plan, how much you save, uh, I think at the end of the year when I do my taxes, I'd be like, well, dang, mm -hmm. this was nobody but God. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, and, and sometimes like as of late, it's been like, what? <laughs> I think, okay, well, then, all right. Well, I need to see where this, what, where this went, Lord. Hello, somebody. <laughs> nobody but God. <laughs> but he's constantly showing up. So it's hard to say any given time, because I realize even though he present the opportunities for people to book me and uh, engage me, it's still nobody but him. I love it. I love you it. know, yeah, it ain't never no it. And I ain't trying to be deep. I promise. It's, it's, it's true. Never, <laughs> never no goodness of my own. Yeah. It's God that put you on the mind of people to say, hey, I want you to come do a night of worship for me. It's God that puts you on the mind of people to say, hey, come do my conference. So daily, that was nobody but God. Daily. Because you're a seed of righteousness. Come on, yeah. somebody. Oh, come on, somebody. To display his glory. Come on. 
on. Yes. <laughs> I love that. And if y'all know the Pay Sisters, daily I shall. Come on, yes. somebody. All right. I love y'all. Come on. <laughs> so let's Come do on, some rapid sister. fire questions and we're getting up out of here. All right. I love it. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Right. Favorite color? Purple. Oh, it used to be purple. It's now yellow. That that yellow. caught me off guard. But it's still, they're both still right, but yellow. Okay, yellow. Okay. Favorite food? Nachos. What? Girl. Nice tacos, so we cook. And, okay. and not with all the seasoning, just like a little queso, nacho and queso. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, favorite restaurant? Houston's. Houston's. I no mean, I've never been to Houston's. I'm Girl. from Chicago. I need to go and go down to Houston. Y'all have Jay Alexander. It's the same. Oh, okay. Well, then we yes. good. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> favorite anointed Pace Sister song? Oh, you know. know. You know. Now y'all know. Okay. Yeah. All right. All yeah. right. <laughs> Favorite anointed paste. Now y'all have been viral. Each one of y'all about a million times. Okay. <laughs> Favorite <laughs> viral moment from your family. Oh, Sean, act like you know. That's a oh. great one. Those were her latter years, and we didn't even know them, her latter days, because yeah. she passed within a, a few months of that. Like, those were her latter days, and we didn't even realize it. Yeah. Like, yeah. God was like, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the world know you again before bringing you on home. Oh, I love that. That's my second favorite. Yeah. What's your first? My first favorite? <laughs> uh-huh. Nisi. Uh-uh. Brinch, your yeah. And that's what he want. He want us clean. I got up one morning and I turned over to say, oh, thank you, Jesus. Just turned over off out of the bed. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we give you glory. Glory. You know what the Lord said to me? Go brush your teeth. I looked around. I saw him, hallelujah, yes, Lord. Went, did my, brushed my teeth, washed my face, rinsed my mouth out and everything. And he said, now that's better. Before you I'm start gonna... talking to me. Oh, I'm yes. going to put the clip in. That is yes. when I tell you that is my favorite moment. Because yes. I, I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And I don't know why I wasn't ready because I watch her and I know her personality, but I wasn't ready. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Favorite yes. LaShawn Pace song. Oh. Right now, I can't. Oh, he lives. I was going to say he right now, but it's always been he lives. There are so many hard string pulling moments in that song that just woo, takes you there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Favorite and I was Durant. there that night and all of that. But yeah, anyway. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Favorite Duran and Space song. I'll always be thankful. I love that. Yeah. My brother in law is. Little Miss Muffin. Do you hear me? Little Miss Muffin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Eating her. When I tell you, <laughs> he loves that one. Yes. Maybe I could listen to Duran's face all day, every day. Yes. Okay. Yes. Favorite Latrice Pace song? Shadow. Yeah. She work out anthem. Okay. If y'all yeah, ain't okay. nice. Why y'all working out? You ain't doing it right. Yes, right. <laughs> Shadow. Okay. Favorite uh voices of power song. Lead me to that rock. Okay. I don't it's either lead me to that rock and looking for the promise, but I don't yeah, it's looking one of those. Yeah. Looking for the promise is mine. Okay. Yeah. Favorite day of the week. Monday. Monday. It's my rest really? day. It's my rest day. For okay. the for the world, for the average world, uh working world, that's the most gruesome day. But for me, being in the arts and entertainment and even in ministry, Monday is my rest day. So it's my favorite day of the week. And my favorite thing to do is coffee in bed on a Monday morning. <laughs> 
Like, <laughs> that's heaven for me. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you will get married again? Um, I think I will, but I'm okay if I don't. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's say a man is looking and he's searching. He think you his wife. Okay. What's something that your daddy taught you that you would look in a man, look for in a man? Oh, um, being willing, it would take, a, I would have to date him a while to see that maybe, but being willing to do whatever he has to do to provide for his family. My daddy said a man need to be willing mm. to dig ditches if he had to, to take care of his family, do whatever you got to do. Funniest story or thing that your mother has ever shared with you? Girl. <laughs> okay, so it's so many, but the one that just popped up in my head because she's such a classy woman, very pulled together, very discreet. You know, that's why I most of the time I really only presented her in, in a pulled together manner because she was just very, always very polished. Uh, even though she'll roll around the floor at church too, but still. Yeah. That was one time she was telling me about uh <laughs> oh, she was uh, we were no, we oh, we were at a gas station. <laughs> I, I changed the story. We were at a gas station <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a man said something to her. Um, uh, about uh, he was something he about pumping the gas or whatever, and um, she was like, "Yes, I would like some ass in my tire." And we were like, <laughs> "Mother, you like some what?" Yes, I would like some ass in my tire. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That is not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna say yes and say it twice. I was done. I was done because Baby. if she were alive, I would never tell that story. But being that she's gone, I can't get a weapon. Yes. Yes. I love it. I have yes. several of the stories that y'all have given us <laughs> that I love. When her, when her talking about the parts in your hair. Oh, my goodness. The yes. highways. That was hilarious. Yes. Her talking about your tattoo. <laughs> I didn't say I liked that thing. I said it right. was. It's right. You got to have a baby. God made a flower, did he? Girl, you better know it all. Listen, <laughs> I love it. Even um uh when Leslie was giving us her uh her story about when she was a child and she didn't want to sing, and her teacher called your mother and was like, I think you a pace, ain't you? And she got yes. a whip. All of that. I was Glenn. That. I yes, that. honey. Ooh, I yes. I was I was oh, I was five years younger than Leslie. But I remember that because I ended up having Miss Glenn and I had to sing. So I was told the story so that it wouldn't happen to me. Yeah. yeah. Miss Glenn. <laughs> oh, I love it. So on our last note, before we go, what would you say? What is your advice to those who are de desiring to become creatives or even influencers? What is your uh, piece of advice to them? Uh, Go with it. Never, never, ever, ever ask anybody else what they think. I don't care if they are a mentor, um, how much you value their opinion, um, how long they've been doing it. Um, unless it's, you just, especially, I'm going to say, if God has given it to you to do it, don't ask anyone else what they think. Mm. Now, if it's something you're just doing and you need to know how to do it, get all the help you need. But if it's something you know God has given you to do, don't ever ask anybody else what they think. Just I do know. it. Just do it. Yes. In other words, she said, act like you know. Act like you know. Yes. <laughs> I said that like I was getting ready to sing. Act like you know. Act like you know. <laughs> Shout out to Leslie for that moment. Okay. Listen. 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 They don't give Leslie enough credit because yeah. at the end of that song, and I, shout out to Leslie, yes. Dr. Leslie. Yes. At the end of the song, and he walked off. The, like, I know. It was the, I said, you better walk off, man. I'm already there with you. Listen, yes. it's that moment. And then at the end of when God is in the building, which yes. is my, let me tell y'all something. 
If y'all want to see me cry, oh wow, play that song. Cause when they get to um, by the time they done asked us, can we feel them in the building? I'm on the floor. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I felt them. Yeah, yes. <laughs> But at the end yes. of that song, when you guys are all doing y'all um little cute runs and stuff yeah. like this, Leslie uh -huh. did a cute look. She said, oh. I said, yeah. hold on. Y'all not giving her enough credit for that one for yes. me. Yes, yes. I just want to put that out there. Leslie is the girl. She yes. is the girl. I love you so much, Latrice. Thank, Thank you. I love you too. For being the theatrical pace. <laughs> uh, for being here with us today. Come on, You're somebody. welcome. For your spirit and just for being you. I pray that God continues you to bless you abundantly, that you keep doing brunch and also Bible. Yeah. And uh, we thank you. <laughs> we thank yeah. you and we're going to celebrate you forever. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Love you. <laughs>